Hi, Skipper Daryl coming to you from St. Louis, Missouri, where it is freaking cold. But it does illustrate a point. Many live aboard cruising boaters will say they have adopted the lifestyle to do something exciting and adventurous, and that's legit. But another reason is to be able to chase summer temperatures and get away from the cold. Now, there are other less obvious reasons. I'll tell you what some of those are on the Live Aboard Boating Reality Check, five reasons live aboard cruising is awesome on the onboard life. Number five, maintenance can be fun. When we started out, I had no idea whatsoever how to maintain a diesel engine or any of the other systems on a boat. I was a green, inexperienced, one might say stupid newbie, but I was motivated. Now I can do all those things, I learned. I can't do major repairs, I admit that's beyond my capabilities, but I understand more about how the systems work, which makes me more confident running the boat. Number four, dock tails. Live aboard cruising boaters are some of the nicest people you will ever come across. And because of our lifestyle, we enjoy each other's company. The best way to do that is dock tails, cocktails on the dock. All you have to do is go from boat to boat at the marina and say dock tails at whatever time and you've got a party on your hands. And we enjoy, some might say we need, the camaraderie that we experience. We're away from our families and homes and being together with like-minded people is important. It's also a chance for us to unpack and dust off our best stories. Mine is when I saw an elephant in the ICW south of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Really, I did. Number three, bragging rights. We live in a landlocked, dry state, Colorado. Boating is not a popular pastime there. So when we're home, it's very satisfying to slip in that we're live aboard cruising boaters into conversations. Everyone goes, ooh. And of course, I always have dozens of pictures handy to show them. Then there's other boaters. We all like to say we've been someplace special and frankly, the more exotic, more interesting, more isolated, the better. For us, being able to say we've been to what turned out to be our own private island for four days on Boca Chita, south of Miami, and someplace completely unexpected like Philadelphia, gives us first class bragging rights. It's fun. Number two, familiar things look different from the water. One of the things that impacted me the most during our Great Loop adventure in 2012 and 2013 was one 10 minute period. We had cast off from a marina on the Mississippi River north of St. Louis and motored down through the Chain of Rocks lock past the Gateway Arch on our way to Hoppy's Landing in Kimswick, Missouri. I'm a proud St. Louisan and I've been down by the arch on the riverfront a zillion times. But seeing the arch from the helm of my own boat out in the middle of the Mississippi River moved me in a way I never anticipated. It was a gray and drizzly day, definitely not sightseeing weather, but I thought it was beautiful. Maybe you'll see something like that too. And number one, it's goal setting nirvana. I've always been a goal setter and successfully achieving a goal makes me very happy. In fact, I need to set and accomplish goals to keep me motivated about whatever it is I'm doing. Being a cruising boater is the perfect way to feed that need. Planning a route and getting where I intended is a rush. Now, I admit that I'm persnickety about all this, but to me, all the planning, calculations, and record keeping is half the fun. You should see my ship's Excel spreadsheet log. It is a thing of beauty. If you like this video, hit the buttons, like it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And comments are always welcome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.